<laughs> Joe, right? Okay. Now this is what we're going to do with Joe. This is he's new to this and so on. I'm going to go ahead and How'd you find him? Where'd you find him? Where's dog? Thomas was so kind <laughs> as to make sure that at the request of me to find someone down at Occupy Phoenix that could come and speak. And we were hoping to get something into the magazine, but it just didn't happen. Now this is what's going to happen. Let me tell you what we've done, what we're hoping will happen. Around the country, a lot of libertarians, different groups that we're working with and helping with DVDs, a lot of things that we passed out before you got there, that we've been doing around the country. Occupy Wall Street is just a symptom of a much larger problem. When I get into my presentation, I'll talk about it a little bit. But we went down there on the 15th when it started. It was the 15th, right? Yeah. We went down there. That, yes, there was about, I don't know, probably half or even less than half that was more organized around whatever the Occupy Wall Street thing was and they had a common thread of whatever they wanted to do. The rest of the people were libertarians, some people from the right, even JT Reddy and his band of militias out there with their ARs in 100 degree weather and their collars up. I, yeah. I thought that was stupid. But the, uh, I knew they weren't going to last very long. The, um, but the main thing was, is that I could see around the country, libertarians I've talked to all over, as much as they see, they may not really understand, you know, from our perspective what's going on, but many young people are going to just find out. They don't know. They're going and somebody hand me something. Somebody explain something. Now, yes, I know it's going to try to be, you know, subverted into whatever the heck somebody else wants to do. And whenever they get a crowd, whether it's a Tea Party, a campaign, or Occupy Phoenix, we're always there subverting on our own. Joe, was, I'm going to go ahead and let you do a couple of minutes. Then I'm going to interview you and ask you some questions to help us go and we get the answers that we want. So go ahead and tell excuse, your story, man. Excuse my voice. I've been doing a lot of yelling lately, and please bear with me. I've been up since Thursday. <laughs> um, <clears throat> how much time do I have? You can go about three, four, five minutes to give your thing, and then I'll start asking you some questions. Okay, okay. That's Microphone. Microphone. First of all, okay. First of all, I'd like to start out and let you guys know we're not left-wing or right-wing. We are 70% independent. We are revolting. Now, later on, if we do get a better influence or leadership from a group like yourselves, then we can make a decision as to whether or not we would like to join and, and make a claim no to, join. to our thought process. But right now, it's just a thought process. We don't like what we're seeing, and we're doing something about it. We're not just going to sit by and, and be stepped on and let the oppression and, and the misuse of money and power continue. Um, with that, we do need the numbers to be able to vote and, and start passing laws and make a real change in our communities. So by bringing you guys in, having some like-minded views and goals, and using our numbers together, we can actually accomplish things for each other. Because with us being there so much and for so long, we are turning into a family and a community. We're starting to trust and, and love one another. Like uh, last night, we almost had a gentleman that didn't make it. He uh, got hypothermia because of the rain, so I took my clothes off and I held them for about 30 minutes. But um, that made it real for a lot of people. Other than that, uh, we, we are fighting every day. We're not allowed to sleep. I've been up since Thursday. Uh, we don't have restrooms there. We're treated worse than the animals in the zoos, so we're not going anywhere. And uh, this fight is real for us, and uh, we do need some help. We could use the numbers. and. We are going to win, regardless of how we get there. We're going to adapt like we have been. So with or without you, we're going to win. With you just makes it faster and easier. And by coming to an agreement now, we can develop those relationships that we don't have now. So in the end, we're not fighting each other. We can work with each other and, and find either a peace and agree to disagree, or, or we will agree and we can move on more powerfully. And you guys have a lot of good things to say. I wish you would come down and set up a tent. <coughs> And, and inform people of some of the things that are going on and that you know about that we don't know about. Because that's what I'm about. I'm here for the education. And, and I believe the education, the full uh, education of people and, and the, the history of the education, where it comes from and who it comes from, as well as the transparency of history and education, that that will stop 
uh, corporations from becoming humanized and destroying our economy and, and, and destroying our housing market. So you are still down there now? Yes. I'm going right back. Actually, wow. we have a massive weekend. It would help us and you if you came with us right now. Uh, Not today, the 5th of November. Today, we just found <laughs> out. We just found you out. Transferring your bank account. <laughs> okay, let me, let me ask some questions. Weren't you, are, were you in the Army? I did four on a tour. I went to Afghanistan and did a year there. I just uh, got home about two weeks ago. Okay, while you were in Afghanistan, how long ago was it that you were in, in, in I Afghanistan? I was there from uh, July 09 to June 2010. Okay, so while you're in Afghanistan. I was group that was in Afghanistan. So, so while you're in Afghanistan, when you got there and you were doing what you were doing, did you get the impression that you were fib to just a little bit about whatever it was they told you you were doing? <laughs> That's why I'm here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so this is... You already... I, I do believe the military industrial congressional complex is real and that is why we're there. It's money. Mm -hmm. The root of all evil. So yeah. what is it that you're willing to do here? I mean, do you... How old are you? I'm uh, 23. Okay, so you, you right out of high school, you went into the army, and all of a sudden, boom, you yes. find find yourself in Afghanistan. Okay, so you go over there. You're kind of, you know, I didn't really. Know, I was a kid, man. I don't know any better. Yeah. You know, so you go over big there, bombs, and you're big going guns, booms, bangs. So, so you're kind of, you know, trying to figure it out while you're there. You get back here, all this is going on. No yeah. jobs. You don't have anything. And this is the one thing on Fox News. I remember this one second. So what happens is on Fox they were saying these people that are out there have no job and they don't have a job, so they're out there with nothing else to do and just out there being ornery. And I'm going, yeah, because they don't have a job. They don't have anything else to do. So my question is, have you tried to get a job when you come back? When you came back? I've applied a, a, a few applications here and there, but honestly, I've taken the outlook now to completely go inert and remove myself from our economy to, to push, push and pressure the localization of economy. Nice. Yes. And uh, I'm out of it until January because I want to go to college and advance my education, and the military will be paying me uh, a basic housing allowance, so I will have a little bit of money to play with. A lot of it is going to be towards the movement and the propaganda and, and informing the people who aren't awake as to how corrupt our situation really is. How, how much do you know? I mean, not economic, enough, I mean, not enough. so, so are you, you're there to learn, yes. you're there to find and out what's... There it. are some very powerful brains there. Mm -hmm. There are some men who know everything there is to know about money. There are people that know everything there is to know about, well, maybe not everything, but a lot more than me. Are they still advocating you vote? With the people at the top right now, I don't think the votes matter. With the people at the top, the voting, I don't think it matters a whole lot. We have to, we have to get a little more of the power back and make sure they're counted and recount them and make sure they counted them correctly. How many? Where are you meeting down there? We are on Second Avenue in Washington. There's Cesar Chavez Park down there. Yes. So how how many people are down there? You think? Last night. Uh, through the rain and the and the pain and the uh, and and the freezing, I'd say at least thirty strong. Through that, so there has been on a regular basis, a couple dozen people down there. There's always never fewer than a dozen or something like that. I would say there's never fewer than about fifteen to twenty on a very weak night. There's fifteen to twenty. We do have low points, but our high points Who's are, supporting are very you? high. How are you getting food? Water. Where do you go to the bathroom? Do you ever take a bath? There are uh, two porta potties that I guess are for the security guards that work in this parking garage. So we walk around the block and go over there. Uh, as far as food, we have, uh, from from what I know, that there are families supporting throughout, like pretty much us. <laughs> um, and other than that, I don't know of us getting any major donations from any groups or organizations. Yeah, How right is now we are. I'm sorry. Like right now we're entirely privately donated and supported and for bathrooms and you know showering we have small businesses that help support us in that respect. How about law enforcement? We had talked to them before, and it's a long story, but the bottom line was this. If they show heavy handedness, this will backfire on them. 
the initial day they did. They corralled just like the Brooklyn Bridge thing. You know, they put you into the Hans Park, arrested, did it. We got on video. We, there, we did a show live that evening. We were down there talking to the people. You know, they knew what was coming. Here we go. They did not want you downtown. Oh, yeah, no, we're going to escort you. We're going to walk you. We're going to be buds. Yeah. We're going to take you up to Hans Park up here where you can hang for another four hours. Yeah. Then we're going to arrest you, okay? Behind the scenes, there's stuff going on. We'll talk after this is over, and I'll tell you guys what was going on. But the thing is, is that the police, city government, and somebody made a decision not to arrest you guys and let you be there 24-7. Why, in your opinion? I'm sorry, sir. Oh, oh they, they now changed their mind and are letting us be there 24-7? That is an excellent question. I think that... It's hard for me. It's hard for me to say this, but I guess the police, the Phoenix Police Department, why did you speak up, sir? Yes, I think as we can see with all the reactions in the other cities, for example, Oakland and Atlanta, Chicago, when the police come with violent reactions, the people come back in huge, gigantic numbers. Yes. Next time, I think Phoenix PD has wisened up to that, and so they are <coughs> trying to wait us out which is probably the strongest thing to do against an occupation like this, try to wait us out without brute force. That's my answer. So the steadfastness for you personally to stay there is for how long? You want to occupy through what? I did a what? year there. I can do a year here. Woo! <laughs> 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 uh, what are your goals? What do what? you want? <clears throat> Mine is, is the advancement of education. I believe we learn in a very ancient style, and we now know that there are three different ways to learn, and we need to start incorporating those into our school systems. I also believe through, through um, putting you in a desk and pointing you at the back of someone's head, they, they singularize you to the point where you feel like you're alone all the way through school and then you go into a community and work at a job inside of a cubicle so we don't have the society, we don't have the friendships, we don't have the trust and the bonds that we used to have when people worked in factories hand to hand right next to each other and, and looked each other in the eyes and spoke on a regular basis. So I want to, to maybe mix things up a bit and take the chairs out. or I don't know what will work, but we have to change how we're teaching our children to give them the best education possible. We're not doing that. Do you feel you have a good education or getting a beat on it or or you're looking for more? Uh, no, go ahead. No, okay. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, to answer your question, what are our goals? I'm a registered libertarian, and I think we we, we have a lot of the same goals, and our biggest goal is Occupy Wall Street, the entire movement, is to return to the Constitution. I don't need to tell you guys how far away from the Constitution we are, how much corruption there is, and how little respect we have for the Constitution these days. That's a huge goal of ours. Okay, the perception is, is that it's a bunch of the left that want to go socialist and freaking Obama again. So, I mean, how, how, how true is that? Fox News, I don't know. I think that's where that's coming from. They've misled you in this. I, we that, we are. Yeah. I, I'm going to tell you, we are not socialists. We are not for a redistribution of welfare. We do not want a handout. And to, a little thing on your jobs, many of us do actually have jobs. And yes, there are some that are between jobs right now, but they're working hard. And I think they think it's the system, and we've been tricked by the one percent who own too much of the power in our politics. Yet Jill wants to go to school on tax money. Good. I don't know. You send me to Afghanistan with a promise you're going to send me to school, you better freaking give me my money. Uh, okay, as an outsider, when I look at the news a little bit, it, it has the appearance that you're against uh, capitalism uh, or corporations or something. In my mind, I'm thinking you should be probably focusing on the corrupt politicians. Well, they, they well then join them, and you can go there and, and shout your message. Yeah, head down there, and you can be part of the movement. You got an idea, then go out and do it.